Okay, hey guys, it's me again. I'm going to show you how to um, merge two, like Photoshop two pictures and together like I did for my cover for a world for me to explore. So this is what the cover looks like as um, a finished product. So I'm going to take your mind off of this and we'll exit that. So the first thing you want to do, whoops, there goes my picture. So I had just you want a normal picture of Taylor Swift and I cropped it to make it about that big. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. We don't want those lines, random lines. So we'll open that and crop again. So we just have a nice simple pick. Okay. Now, since I have that, I also opened a picture of Fred. I know, kind of depressing, isn't it? And I cropped him. And I dragged, oh, enter, and I dragged the background copy over here. Well, that's done. I'll show you how to um, get the picture in a few minutes. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the Hogwarts crest into the picture over here but to keep your eyes from wandering I'll just maximize this so I learned this really neat trick on how to uh, how to like get a specific image so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here and you're gonna get your magic wand tool and you're gonna click that and you're just gonna click it simply over the image and hold on a second I missed it crucial step. Um, before you do that, before you click on the image, you're going to double click to unlock the layer which you really want to do. And then now when I click this and it's not working and I don't know why. Ah, there we go. Click the outer spot and see how it has little caterpillars going around the image. Like right here. All I'm going to do is click backspace and control D to make the little caterpillars go away. So basically the the background, how it's all checkered, basically means it's empty and it's blank. So um, we're going to keep it like that for now. So don't worry about that. So grab your attention. I'm going to bring it over to this photo. So make sure you have your background copy, or we're going to name this. Just double click it, and then you can enter whatever name you want. Click call it Fred. So we're going to bring this over here, and we're going to do Control T. And we're going to click shift and make his image a bit bigger. I don't want it too big so it doesn't look disproportionate. Okay, so make this a little bit smaller. A bit smaller. No, I think it was fine the way it was. So you know what? That's really totally good. So we're just, all we're going to do is make, just crop this a little bit more. Just make it just a bit smaller. And there you have it. Oh. And this is being really silly. So we're just going to cut this side instead and bring it over. It's right up to the just a millimeter above his legs. So move that over just a little bit, a little bit. A bit more. Oh, back. There you have it. So now you want to don't want all the big, huge background there. Kind of just destroys the entire picture. So, whoops, still have the last setting. I'm gonna go down to about 70, and you're gonna have the same opacity. You're just gonna erase the big, huge chunks. So we'll fo focus on the details later. So erase the bit of his wand. I know. Kind of weird. And you know what, since this layer right here, see how it kind of just blends in to um, the background, it doesn't look like it has a full back, we'll, we'll work around that later. So you know what, erase the edges and whatnot. Don't worry about the finer details later, so you're just going to erase all that. And you know what, you know what, that's relatively the perfect back that you're going to get for now. And you're gonna 
come over here, just click and just go to the very edge of the image. And you're going to erase what's left. There we go. So there we have it. Now we also now we're gonna make it just a bit of a smaller brush. Back up back up to fifty. And you're gonna gently work around the edges of red so that you just erase little bits of green, the greenish gray that you still see there. And usually this would look better with the larger picture of Fred because um, this one's a bit smaller and when you blow it up it's a bit pixel it's a bit pixelated right so it's not a very good thing but it's the only picture of Fred I can really find I didn't really wanted to find the um, the original picture of Fred standing like that or James Phelps standing like that like if you have it please let me know because I really want to ma remake the book cover to make it look better anyway so this is you know just a quick job you can just work on the finer details if you want to get it onto perfection. Um, so there you have it. We'll have that there. Okay, now we're going to go back to your Hogwarts crest. And we're going to drag this layer over top. And you're going to switch over to your select selection tool. You're just going to drag this down. Now, if you want to, you can go around the edges and be very, very careful and just erase the white stuff that's kind of that kind of remained there. But I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'm actually just going to fade this like I did in the cover, just a little bit, down to 84, maybe a little bit lower, depending on what you want. And again, you might have to make the proportions a bit smaller and whatnot because of Wattpad. And move the up a bit. Now I'm going to add some font. So definitely make that. Well, it's gonna be fine. Mm. Okay, let's make <laughs> make a different um, font here. The one I used was Edwardian script. Whoop. I think I passed it. I know I did for a fact. Mm, where is it? Uh, nope. Oh, it already in script. Okay, for me, move this over, make it considerably smaller. So I'm pretty sure I wrote down a world for. Okay. Make it the nice gold color that I had it before. My other cover. Okay. There we go. Sometimes you have to do extra spaces so that your um, font is actually complete. And then I'm going to bring this down here, down to explore. Oh, explore. Explore. Can make this one just a bit bigger than the others. Okay, so now I'm just going to simply change the font color. go and now we're going to do some cool stuff with it okay so we'll start with explore since it's the biggest one I guess and you're going to click bevel 